in this video, I'm going to show you how to use our substitute teacher reservation system, which is called ASAP, and how you can create an absence and have a sub assigned to teach your class for that absence. So there's a couple ways that you can get to SubFinder. If you are using your BCSE issue device, there's actually an icon for ASOP, the subsystem, on your laptop. So you can double click it here. It's a little apple. And if you hover over it, it tells you it's ASOP. You'll double click that and it will pull up the sign-in menu. The other way is uh, another method to get to ASOP is to open up your web browser and you'll go to the BCSC website in case maybe you're not using your BCSC device. And on the faculty and staff tab, if you click technology tools, all of our district technology tools are here. There is one link here for ASOP, so you can click there and it will again take you to the login screen, right, where you will be prompted to sign in. So to sign in to ASOP, our subsystem, um, you'll have to enter a 10 digit number. That's your username. It typically it might be a cell phone number. Um, you will have already set that up in advance. And then you'll enter a password, which is a number as well. And you determine that number. And then you'll click sign in. When it loads, you're going to be on the ASOP homepage. And just looking here to give you a little bit of an overview, uh, it shows a calendar here, and there's a little bit of a key here to explain what some of these different colors mean. Um, any days that are in this orangish red color, that's a closed day, so that's a day that we are out of school. There are in-service days for, we have a teacher work day. And then blue, that would be if you schedule an absence. So if you know that you're gonna be out one day and you request a sub, those would show up here. All right, so to create an absence, you'll have a sub assigned to your class. There's two ways you can go about doing that. On this main screen, you are already actually on the tab for creating an absence. But if you happen to have clicked somewhere else, the other way is to click absences and create absence. And it will again take you to this little menu on the bottom here where you create an absence for the day. So to create an absence, you need to find the day on the calendar that you know you're going to be gone. So to toggle to a different month in advance, you just use the arrows here. And if I'm going to be gone on this day, I would click it and it's selected. If I need to select multiple days, if I know I'm gonna be out for a little while, I can click and drag to select a range of dates, all right? And then if I don't wanna have all those days I just selected, I can click them off. And again, if I wanna be gone this whole week, um, I could select all those days. So the next thing that you have to do is, uh, it, for you, it'll automatically show that yes, you have to have a substitute required. My account's a little bit different, so this should say yes but you'll select the absence reason. And this is for HR to log and make sure that you have uh, an accurate reflection of the number of sick days that you've used, personal days, or if you're out on leave for any purpose. Um, so you would select the reason for your absence here. So if I know I'm gonna be out sick those days, I would select sick day. If you are perhaps missing work for professional days, You'll select professional day. So if you're going out for new teacher academy and you wanna go ahead and schedule a bunch of those days in advance, if you already have the dates in your calendar, you could select professional day and then you would be good to go from there. But for this example, I'm gonna use sick day. Um, and then you enter the time of day you're gonna be gone. If you know you're going to be gone the full day of school, you leave that as it is, full day. If I know that I'm gonna be missing the morning, then I'm gonna put what time of day I'm gonna be missing here. So if I'm gonna be gone in the morning, that's eight to 11.30. So I would need a sub during that time. If I'm going to be absent in the afternoon, I'll click half day PM, all right? So just to let you know, um, if you are going to be out for a half day, if you're out in the morning, you need to be back by 1130. Um, and if you know that you're gonna be out in the afternoon, then you have to stay until 1130. So if you go over any of those times. So if you go beyond, um, so if you leave at 11 instead of 1130, then they will count that as a full day, even though it's really not technically a full day of work. So just be very mindful of that. So if I'm going to use a full day, what I would write here is notes to my administrator. So um, I would maybe tell my principal that my sub plans are on my desk 
also sending via email, right? So I could maybe give notes to my principal that my subplans are on my desk, I'm sending them via email um, and whatnot. There's also a box here, you might see that says notes to substitute, you could write information there as well. Um, bit of advice though, always make sure that you have a hard copy of your sub plans printed and either with your principal or on your desk for when the sub arrives because not every substitute is going to read the little attachments or notes that you might put on here so it's just a way to cover your bases and make sure you have everything prepared that you need so if you wanted to add attachments you could add attachments as well over here and if i'm good to go there i would click create absence and now my absence is ready to go for my sub So if I wanted to see those days on the calendar and keep track of it, it would show up here on my calendar. So I'm just gonna create this absence so everyone can see. It gives me a confirmation number, so I know. And then you see, I have scheduled absences here. I know that I'm gonna be out these days and it's going to show it and track it for me. Um, and I could add files as well from there if I needed to, or also make any edits or changes to it and view the details. So whenever you are, um, whenever you've officially reserved your days off, you've marked them here in your calendar and you show that they now are here, uh, you cannot technically request a particular sub. Um, you can create a preferred sub list though. So if you know there's a couple of people who are frequently in your building and are amazing subs and you'd love for them to come in and be your teacher for your student on a day that you're out, um, you can request them, but you can't tech, you can actually reserve them, but you can't technically request them directly on the website. So to go to the preferred list of subs, and those people will be the ones who are contacted first, if you have a sub, you would click account, and then there's preferred substitutes. All right. And you would go through, and these are all of the different subs throughout the district, and you would add them through our pool of candidates here. And if it's someone that you want to be preferred sub, so let's say that this is someone I want to be my preferred substitute, I would add them to my list. And then um, basically what happens is that they are the first ones that are notified if I happen to be out that day. So I can put a little, I can like them and they are, this is the order that they'll be called if I'm out that day and if they're already not subbing for someone else. All right, that is how I schedule, or I guess make a preferred list of my subs.